G'day, it's Pete here, and I'm back for another Daily Dose. Now, today I'm going to be doing a suit combination, and this is one we're probably all familiar with, which is a nine-card fit missing the queen. So there's lots of different options with this, and I'll just get into it and explain a few different ones. All right, so here we've got ace-jack-10 to 5, opposite king to 4 spades, and just another card. Okay. Now, most people have heard the uh, card play maxim of uh, 8 ever, 9 never, which suggests with a 9 card fit missing the queen, we should not take a finesse. And that's true. So the best percentage play in this is just to lay down the ace and the king and hope that uh, the suit breaks 2-2 two -two or the queen falls singleton. Okay. Uh, Taking the finesse is pretty close though, uh, so if you play for the queen to drop, that's actually going to happen 52% of the time. So only just a little bit better than actually taking the finesse. All right, so, but there's a few different options here. So firstly, if we want to actually take a finesse, we can actually finesse either player for it. So if we thought West had the queen of spades, we could just lay down the ace, and the reason I say lay down the ace is this protects against a singleton queen with ace. So just a little bit of uh, coverage there. And then we could lead the jack and try and run it and uh, hope that west has the queen. Whereas if we wanted to take a finesse and hope that east had the queen, we could lay, lead low to the king, again protecting against a singleton queen with west, and now finesse the other way. Okay, So we can take a finesse like that as well. So, if you do choose to finesse, it's better to cash one of the top honours first. And we can do this either way because we've got a two-way finesse position. So, a few different things might sway our odds there. Uh, one might be that there's a danger hand and we just can't let anyone a particular hand on lead. So, we can finesse through a particular player. Or, secondly, you might have something like one opponent preempts and that sways the odds now in favour of the finesse. Because remember, it's actually pretty close. There's also another third kind of way of playing, which is a bit deceptive, but uh, we could actually just lead the jack. Now, um, we fully intend to uh, play the king and the ace. So let's say we had no other information. We're going to fall back on the percentage play of playing the ace and the king and playing for the queen to drop. But we can actually lead the jack to the king and then small to the ace. Okay? And you might be like, well, that doesn't actually make a difference. And you're right except it's a psychological play that gives the opponents a chance to make an error. Okay, Most people are taught to cover an honour with an honour. So if West had three spades to the jack, uh, to the queen, sorry, they might even just put up the queen thinking that they should cover the honour. And if they do that, you've now increased your odds. Now we can only do this play because we've got the jack, the ten, the nine. We've got all the pips in there. We've got a lot of depth there. Now, this doesn't mean that West will always cover it, but it does open up the possibility that West will put in the Queen and solve our issue of uh, covering an honour with an honour. So, even if you're thinking of cashing the King and the Ace, if you have all these intermediate cards, consider just leading one of the honours, because some players uh, will just fall back on a card play maximum of cover an honour with an honour, and they'll put in the Queen even when it's wrong. So you might even be able to increase your odds a little bit by leading something like the jack. Anyway, this was today's Daily Dose. I hope you enjoyed the suit combination. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.